Ah, oh, crap. Do you ever have one of those times where you want to know what somebody has to say about a topic, but you really don't want to hear the words coming out of their mouth? If only, if only that there was a solution in the modern world. And thankfully, thankfully there is. With the magic of ChatGPT, you too can feed a video from Linus Tech Tips or somebody else into a Python script, and then you will get, you will get a summary of what they said, you will get the relevant tags, and if you really want it, you can get the entire transcript down here. So what, what does Linus Tech Tips have to say? I'm actually mad, getting mad now. In this video, the host criticizes NVIDIA for their lack of concern for mainstream customers and their overpriced RTX 4060 graphics card. The host mentions that NVIDIA relies on software tricks rather than providing faster hardware, and the 4060 is inferior to its predecessor and AMD's offerings. I have to say, I have to say, I'd rather, I'd rather read this summary and listen to this guy. <laughs> we have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. Uh, but anyways, this is a, this is a kind of cool script. So uh, let's see, here we go here and let's see what else. I'm dreading this review. Oh, Linus. You can't be dreading the review any more than I'm dreading listening to you. Uh, so let me uh, let me copy. Let me copy that link. Let me go over here. Uh, let me paste this link into the script. Let me hit Control S. It's a little bit wonky. Anyways, I like I write the code on the Mac and then run it on the Linux just to make sure it works properly. Anywho, okay. Let me. Uh, let me clear them, let me clear the screen, clear the screen. Okay, so let me now run the script with this new Linus Tech Tip video. Don't really, really wanna hear him. Uh, let's see, it'll process, it'll process. So this is showing me the link, this is showing me the actual uh, video uh, ID. It's going through, it's processing. Oh, look at that, look at that. Chat GPT listens to Linus, so I don't have to. I can come here, I can hit refresh, I'm dreading this review RTX 4070. Oh, I was dreading it too, man. But this makes it so much easier. In this video review, the journalist discusses the RTX 4070, acknowledging the controversy surrounding the unaffordability of modern GPUs. They mention that while the 4070 may not be a significant leap forward in terms of performance, it offers good value compared to other GPUs currently on the market. The video highlights the specifications and performance of the 4070. Blase, blase, blase. And then we can have the tags down here. I think this is interesting. Uh, again, one of the things I get excited about is stuff other people don't get excited about. I think taxonomy. You know the real money, the real money in the next decade, it's taxonomy. Um, actually being able to index all of this stuff. But this is interesting, right? So it's able to, uh, to pull out RTX 4070, NVIDIA, graphics card, GPU, value proposition, RTX 3080, right? Especially with things like Linus Tech Tips, uh, where they're so chock a block full of, uh, of proper nouns, proper names for things. Um, I think having these tags could be very useful. Um, and then we get the full transcript down here. Uh, so, so this is pretty cool. Uh, if we go over here and we actually take a look at the script, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it looks long, it looks longish. It's 63 lines, uh, but it's all pretty stupid stuff. Uh, so we're using the YouTube transcript API uh, module uh, in order to get the transcript. So basically with all YouTube videos, if you click on this link here, uh, you can actually say show transcript and it'll actually show you. Uh, YouTube already creates the full transcript for you. Um, I don't know why, <clears throat> it's hard to get it though. Um, I was just trying to use beautiful soup or uh, regular expressions to try to grab the transcript. I'm not sure what's going on, if it's a JavaScript call or something else, uh, but I can't just, for some reason, I can't just use request pull in the entire page and grab this. So anyways, that's why we're using the, the YouTube transcript API. Uh, but we take a look at this. Uh, we use that. Uh, we use requests. That actually gets the web page for us. Uh, BS4, beautiful soup. Import OpenAI. We have the OpenAI key that will be gone soon. Uh, URL. So this is the URL. Uh, we can just copy and paste the URL in. Uh, page equals request.get URL. And basically then we use beautiful soup in order to get the URL, to get the text. Uh, and then we want the title of the page, right? So that's what's gonna give us uh, the title 
uh, up here. Uh, then we come down here, so we need the video ID. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna strip out either the short uh, URL or the full URL from the video ID. So we have this full video, uh, the URL, and so we're gonna strip off we're gonna strip off all of that, so we only have that left. That's what these things do. Transcript equals, basically you're using the YouTube transcript API, and you're putting in the video ID. Uh, output equals, so we're gonna go through uh, the, the transcript that we get here. Oh, we're gonna parse that. Uh, then we're gonna come down here. This is where we get to, um, Oh, this is where we get to chat GPT. Uh, so again, pretty simple. Response equals OpenAI completion. You are a journalist. Write a 100 word summary of this video. Output, so the output from here goes down here. Uh, then we come down here to tags, so we want the tags. Output a list of tags for this blog post in a Python list, such as item one, item two, item three. So you gotta spell that out. Um, I've done it with just Python list. And 99% of the time, it gives me a Python list. <laughs> Every once in a while, it gives me something else. So I found if you spell out what you're looking for, that's much better. We feed in the output like we did before. We get the tag response. Uh, then we simply come down here um, and we print out on the screen. So we print out on the, uh, the command line screen right there. Uh, so we print out the title, we print out the video ID, we print out the summary, we print out the tag, and we print out the output. We're then gonna write everything, so we're gonna overwrite here. So we're gonna, we're gonna delete uh, the old um, HTML document, uh, then we're gonna write in the title, we're gonna write in video ID, then we're gonna do append here. So we're gonna append it to this document, summary with the value of summary, tags with the value of tags, full transcript, uh, and then we're basically gonna split the full transcript based on the next line, and then every next line is gonna get a P tag, and that's what uh, makes it uh, relatively eh, pretty like this. So again, you can think about how you want to do all that. This is basically just a simple thing. But I think this is this is fabulous. It's fabulous. And again, as long as the video is relatively short, you're fine. So uh, so we're, I'm using the 3.5 model right now. So the 3.5 model only allows you to use about 4,000 tokens uh, for not very much money, for a fifth of a penny. <laughs> per token. Uh, you can go to the 4K model uh, where you're gonna spend a lot more money. Uh, you're gonna spend like six, six cents ingest and up to 12 cents output uh, per thousand tokens. Uh, so that can get very expensive. Uh, so with this, we're basically having to keep it to pretty short videos, um, but with the short videos, right? Barely contained rage. Uh-oh, what's, what's John Green mad about? I can copy this, I can come over here. I can uh, paste it in, Boop. control V, control S, or it's like command, command because it's Mac. Uh, and then what am I doing? I'm here and then I run the script. So we can see it's running, running, running. So that's the thing, that's the actual uh, video. And it's processing, 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 processing. Come on, I gotta know what Hank Green's mad about. What is Hank Green's barely contained rage? And I can simply come here and I can hit refresh, barely contained rage. Uh, the patent on the drug uh, Betalequin, which cures multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, is set to expire next week, allowing for cheaper generic versions to be reduced. However, Johnson & Johnson, the company that holds the patent, will enforce a secondary blase, blase, blase. You know, journalism, drug, Betalequine, uh, Johnson & Johnson saves lives. Again, this is one thing like with non-hyper technical um, uh, posts like with tags you get some of this stuff I probably want to clean this up from the prompt maybe like the 10 most prominent tags or only proper noun tags something like that but anyways but you get the tags there uh, and then you get the full transcript so anyways, there you go. That's how you can use chat GPT to web scrape YouTube transcripts to get something that might actually be valuable to you. Uh, if you like these kinds of videos, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like these kinds of videos, give us a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. And this is one of the classes, or this is going to be one of the labs uh, that we're going to be doing on Tuesday. So Tuesday at Silicon Dojo, we have a web scraping class with ChatGPT. Uh, literally, literally, this is a lab that I am creating for that particular class. Uh, and so this is the kind of stuff that we do at Silicon Dojo. 
again, the idea of trying to eat, like when, whatever we do, everything that we do at Silicon Dojo, we're either solving actual problems or simulating solving actual problems. And every, every, everything that we should do, we should be creating something. That's interesting. So anyways, uh, with that, see y'all later.